And here we go, Riddick Bo and Tony Tubbs, heavyweights, big men, Bo six foot five, Tubbs six foot three. Big reaches on each guy. Bo 81, Tubbs 79. Action coming from Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm Dave Bontempo. Welcome to the telecast of Bo and Tubbs. Bo coming in at 22 and 0. On his way up, he's beaten Pinkland Thomas, Burt Cooper, Tyrell Biggs. Tubbs is a former WBA heavyweight champion. Captured the title in 1985 by beating Greg Page. Since then, however, losses to Tim Witherspoon and Mike Tyson. And here comes Bo trying to swarm him early on. Uppercuts from Bo. How sharp Bo looks. There's an uppercut from Tubbs. Tubbs trying to take advantage of Bo leaning on him by leaning against the ropes himself and throwing uppercuts while having his elbow highly positioned. Now the action goes back outside. This is going to be an interesting stylistic test for Bo because he's usually punching down at guys and having a big reach advantage. Here there's parity. It's a different type of a fight. As Cubs lands a left hook and then goes off balance. Bo blocking a lot of what Tubbs wants to do on the inside here. So as the opening round winds down, Bo doing a little more than Tubbs. See where Tony TNT Tubbs holds his left hand. He's down low. Could be a mistake to leave it there against Bo. Bo is destined to get a lot of attention in the boxing world. Not only that excellent size of six foot five and the 81 inch reach. Bo's wife Judy hopes he can bring victory home in this fight. But also trained by the great Eddie Futch. He trained Joe Frazier. So many great fighters along the way. Eddie Futch, one of the grand men class acts of the boxing game. So now Bo is out of stage. That if he can keep some momentum going for a while, he's honing in on a heavyweight championship fight. Tubbs comes at Bo. Bo blocks most of it. One factor we'll look for 
in this fight to see what kind of an effect it has is the age difference. Tubbs is 33, Bo is 22. The Bo would like to force Tubbs to use his legs and tire him out. Let's see how that all develops as we come to the end of round two. Wait. Third round underway. Riddick Bowe and Tony Tubbs in the heavyweight division. It's been the jab of Bowe. Setting the pace early in this fight. Now they engage on the inside with both. Landing some good body shots and Tubbs getting some offense in as well. There's a jab and a right hand by Tubbs. Right after the inside exchange, he springs to life. Tubbs' wife, Ingrid, hopes he can get a victory in this contest. A jab in the right hand by Bo. Hook by Tubbs gets in. Heads come together a little bit as Bo's trying to get some momentum in there. A minute to go in round three. Joe Cortez pretty busy this round. As these guys come together and take a little time leaning on each other, shortening the clock. Body shot by Bo. Gets a left hook upstairs. And Bo tries to leap in off the break. Good hooks here by Bo. Tubbs waving Bo on. Bo happy to oblige as he has been setting the pace. Now that we come to the end of round three. Round four underway. Riddick Bo and Tony Tubbs in the heavyweight division. Bo on his way up, 22-0. Tubbs, 29-2. Has already held the heavyweight championship. And he was flying high until losses to Tim Witherspoon and Mike Tyson. Bo has beaten some good guys on his way up the ladder. Pinklin Thomas, Kurt Cooper, and in his last fight, Tyrell Biggs. He stopped him in the eighth in what was a tight fight. He was up 67-66 on two cards. And that was a nice, decisive victory for Bo. He did a little bit more than a month ago, so... 
Shows what kind of rhythm you can get into. When your people have confidence that you're on the right track and a nice high-level fight comes up with a good payday, you can take it. Cubs trying to change strategy a little bit here and go on the outside, but Bo cut him off. Cubs' jabs falling short. Among the celebrities that often come to boxing matches, here's one that loves boxing. Gene Hackman loves to show up at the fights, not only in Atlantic City, but in Nevada. Good hook by Tubbs. Double jab here by Bo. So Bo continues to set the pace at the end of round four. And we start round five, Riddick Bo and Tony Tubbs. Action coming from Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm Dave Bontempo. As you watch Riddick Bo, who's 22-0, trying to work his way toward a championship heavyweight battle, and he's going against a former champion, Tony Tubbs, who is 29-2. Significant age difference. Bo is 22, Tubbs 33. And when you're the veteran, if you can, you try to steal some time, tie up, slow the rounds down, let the clock go, let the referee separate you. you try to turn a 12-round fight maybe into a 10-round fight. And of course, the other guy knows that. So he's trying to push you harder. Talking about the holding, and we're certainly getting evidence of that and Joe Cortez warning the fighters he has been busy and you're getting a look at Jimmy Davis 39 year ABC audio technician veteran who will be retiring this year two shots here by Tubbs Double jab by Bo. Bo trying to corner Tubbs here. Double jab by Bo. Setting a pretty good tempo with it in this round. Been the most accurate we've seen him getting these shots in. And you notice how he's tightening up the distance between Tubbs and himself as he senses the chance to step on the pedal a little bit here. Tubbs, meanwhile, wants this fight right where it is, with Bo right in front of him so he doesn't have to move so much. No doubt. Bo's people, especially after they're watching this, are going to tell him to move. Tire the older fighter out. As we come to the end of round five. We start round six. Riddick Bo in the white trunks and Tony Tubbs. Bo 22-0. Tubbs 29 and 2. It has been Bo in control of the fight from the outside. Nice. 
Cubs nails the bow on the inside with a couple shots. Cubs has that left hand down low. Double jab here by Bo. The jabs were very effective in the last round. Starting to find more openings against Tubbs. And Eddie Futch, the venerable 80-year-old trainer of Riddick Bo, believes that Bo may have done enough work on the outside now to justify coming in closer. And that's a matter of opinion as to when you want to pull the trigger on that. Eddie says it's time. Figures that Bo has done enough work with the jab on the outside that Tubbs may be tiring. And Bo can press it on the inside now. Because the ironic thing about that strategy is that Tubbs benefits by having Bo close to him. Now, I think Bo could wait a little bit on that. This is what's giving Tubbs a chance to stay in the fight, having Bo close to him. So it's an interesting angle that Bo is playing out in the sixth round here. I'm Dave Bontempo. Glad you're enjoying this one. The upcoming Riddick Bo looking for a heavyweight championship. And Tony Tubbs, who has already been there and is trying to get back. There's a hook by Tubbs. Double jab by Bo. Mentioned Daddy Eddie Futch, of course, a slew of champions, starting with Don Jordan and Joe Frazier. And one of the ultimate goodwill ambassadors in the boxing game. They don't come any better than Eddie Futch. Bow on the outside, there's the double jab. Oh, fighting well on the outside as the round comes to an end. We start round seven as you get a look at Tony Tubbs, the former WBA heavyweight champion. Up against the upstart, Riddick Bow. Bo has had the edge so far. Making it look like he has more of a two-inch reach. There's a right hand by Bo. He's been jabbing, boxing effectively on the outside, and just subtly now, starting to work his way closer. Tubbs looks exhausted. He's 11, year old, 11 years older than Riddick Bo. Bo misses wide. And the sportsmanship there. These Tubbs did not go after Bo in that situation. Left hook by Tubbs. Bo's not effectively cutting off the ring in this instance. He's following Tubbs, and that's allowing Tubbs to do a little maneuvering, get away. Bo has to move a drastic step to the right, and then force Tubbs to move. On the inside here, this is the blueprint that Tubbs would have wanted. He doesn't have to expend as much energy to fight the younger man in here. Joe Cortez has been pretty busy, the referee. 
But when he says no holding, now it almost sounds like a request. But they just keep on doing it. And for Tubbs, it steals some time. He continually backs up here. And this is going to hurt him on the scorecards. The fact that he is in perpetual retreat. So the seconds tick off, and it's another good round for Riddick Bowe in the seventh. We begin round eight. Heavyweights Riddick Bowe and Tony Tubbs. Bowe on fresh legs, the 22-year-old. Getting the jump on the 33-year-old Tubbs. When Bo has been on the outside, he's tended to make it an easy night for himself. Tubbs is a strong guy. He's six foot three. Bo is six foot five. But Tubbs is not an easy guy to muscle. You can't push him around too much. And you have to be pretty tactical, stay outside. And find your angles. And that's why this is a unique stylistic test for Bo. We've seen him walk through and overpower guys. But this is a fighter who figures to stay around, test him, extend him. And perhaps give him the kind of stamina base that he will need in bigger fights. Couple shots here from Tubbs. But it's Bo backing him up. Jabs by Tubbs. Smothered by Bo. So Riddick Bo continues to pile up points. Out hustling Tony Tubbs here at the end of round eight. We begin round nine, scheduled for 10 in the heavyweight division. It's been a good performance thus far for Riddick Bowe in the white trunks. As he has gotten the jump and outboxed Tony Tubbs. Tubbs trying to do something about it, opens up here with a couple of left hooks. Good hook by Tubbs. But he saved a little bit for this round. But Tubbs again retreating against the ropes. Misses wildly. Hey, and if you're Bo, you don't want to back straight up. That one missed. But Tubbs have been a little closer. 
That would have been a big shot to land for him. Double jab and a right hand from Bo. And then tying up Tony Tubbs. Hooked by Bo. Double jab here by Bo. Pretty good defense, too, as he blocks what Tubbs is throwing at him. You see the point, too, that when he stays outside like this, Bo is making this fight easy on himself. And then when he gets inside, he wants to parlay it in the power department. This has been a smart boxing display by a slugger. You have to like the versatility that Bo is showing in a fight of this kind of a high level. He's maintained his composure and is controlling Tony Tucks. Final round underway. Riddick Bow and Tony Tubbs. They tap gloves in the center of the ring. Fight coming from Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm Dave Bontempo. Riddick Bowe, 22 and 0. Tony Tubbs, 29 and 2. The 22-year-old Bowe has out-hustled the 33-year-old Tubbs in this one. Nobody down, nobody really hurt in this contest. Tubbs' only losses have been to Tim Witherspoon and Mike Tyson, both champions. So, Bo could join that list of victors against Tubbs. That would be a nice list for him to be on. And if he defeats Tubbs, he's beating a former champion. Tubbs on the inside trying to steal something here against Bo. Tubbs came out with a lot of fire in round nine. It's interesting that Bo is choosing to fight on the inside and stay there with him. Rather than say, stay outside and see if Tubbs will lunge at him and make mistakes. Referee Joe Cortez looks like he's glad this is not a 12-rounder as he has been busy separating these bigger guys. Bo lands a hook as Tubbs is coming in. And Joe Cortez very active part of this fight in the final round. He separated them a number of times. But he won't have to separate them pretty soon because this one is coming to an end and will go into the hands of the judges.
Fighters will embrace. Pretty well spirited fight. And Riddick Bo has put up a pretty good boxing performance. All right, so this one is official. Let's get the final numbers from Ed Darian. Ladies and gentlemen, from Harris, Atlantic City, New Jersey, the scoring by points as follows. Judges Frank J. Cairo and Richard Strange each score 96-94 while Judge Jean Williams, she observed 97-93. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still undefeated. So Bo still has the O. Riddick Bo wins and remains